The West Lafayette teen driver in the crash that killed one and injured two others is hoping a judge will accept his guilty plea. 17 year old Benjamin Edwards admitted to recklessly driving the car that killed Christian Burns and injured Alexander Algie and Alexandra Darren on May 31st. News 18's Kayla Sullivan spoke with Edwards' attorney, Bruce Graham, today. Kayla, what did you learn about the case? Well, Graham didn't give much information. He wanted to save most of the explaining for the sentencing in September. However, we did learn more about the crash from court documents. We also took talked with a Lafayette driving instructor about the lesson other teens can learn from this behavior. But behind the wheel of a car, we're invincible. The thing is, we're not. 17 year old Benjamin Edwards had to learn that lesson the hard way. Ben Edwards is devastated by what happened. Never intended that anybody be injured. And I think it's also probably important to note that there were no drugs or alcohol involved in this incident. According to court documents, Edwards was speeding faster than 100 miles per hour, causing the car to flip over and hit a pole. We asked his attorney why Edwards was going that fast. We also asked if phones or social media played a role in the crash. You know, there, there's been a lot of misinformation floating around about this case, and I really don't want to get into a whole lot of details before the sentence. But even without the details, driving instructor Tom Whaley says there is a lesson to be learned. You got to you got to take this seriously, and you got to be very very careful. Driving instructors say they don't just teach teens how to be good drivers; they teach them how to be good passengers as well. Your passenger in that car, that guy's got your life in his hands, so you know. He gets on the phone, you need to tell him to get off the phone. Whaley uses real life examples like the White County crash and this video of real teen crashes to send a lasting message. I can only hope that they will remember all this when they when they get out on the road. Is facing three years on probation. His sentencing is scheduled for September. Kayla Sullivan, News 18.